So now when we have run the first time wizard and we need to connect the gateways to the security management server using the SIG key, we need to fix a few things more. So if we check this, uh, this appliance box, we see that we have configured the management interface and we have configured Ethernet 1. But to be able to have a cluster, we also need to configure the sync interface. So this is the topology that we would use in this example. So we have the management port towards the management servers, Ethernet 1 towards internet, and then we have a physical cable between the boxes for sync. You don't need to have physical cables between the boxes for sync. You can use a VLAN or you can have multiple interfaces via a switch infrastructure. I would recommend you always use bond interfaces on all your connections to various parts and use your switch infrastructure to gain additional redundancy and also be able to split the boxes further apart. So you want to have them in, in different racks, in different buildings or even in different uh, cities if you want to. Yes, you need to make sure that you still meet the latency requirements, etc. And this is nothing that we will bring up in this short video. So this is the infrastructure that we want to build. As I mentioned, we have the management interface and we have Ethernet 1. So we need to go on the network management, network interface, and we need to do a configuration on this sync interface, which is currently down. So the first thing that we need to do is unlock. So we're actually able to do configuration changes. We mark this one, edit, and we enable the interface. I like to put descriptions because it's not always that you use the sync interface for sync. You can use Ethernet 6 or whatever. And then we put in an IP address. Uh, as standard, I actually use 169 addresses that is not routable. But um, we will do like this for now. So, and okay. And we see here that it's no link. Okay, why is it no link? Yes, that's because we actually use a direct attached cable between the two appliances and we haven't configured the other side yet. So we open the uh, second box and we do same, unlock configuration. Interface, sync, enable, sync, 192.168.250, and then it would be, uh, what did I put on this one? Two. I, I will change this to one. <laughs> My OCD will go crazy if I don't do this. So one, and then on this one, I will do two. 248. And now it will change to green because we have a direct attached cable between them. So we do refresh and we have up. So now we have all the interfaces set up. So we're able to start to build something. Then we open our smart console and we see here, this is a complete empty box. So we only have the management server itself. We don't have any policy. We don't have anything. So first of all, we will go to this gateways and servers and do new and we will do a cluster and cluster and i like to do in classic mode so we need to figure out the name so uh, cp cluster 01 and we put the ip address and the ip address that we will use for this one is 192.168.1.1 and we select that it's a 6000 appliance running R81.10 and we currently only want to have um, a firewall. We can have the IPS, uh, cluster Excel, that's the clustering. And then we have cluster members. And as we don't have added any, we need to add and add cluster member. So the first one is CP Gateway 01 192 1.2. And then we need to put in the SIG key. So here, and I selected SIG point. As I said, this is a one-time password. So it can only be used once. If it doesn't work, we need to reset it. So we see that it's trust established. That means it works. Okay. And then we add one more new cluster member. 
CP Gateway 02 1.3 Communication Checkpoint Initialize Trust established Closed Close And when we have it in this sort of uh, list, this is also the priority of which box should be active. Uh, so currently we want uh, this one to be the active node. Next step is that we go under network management. So we need to fetch the topology. So we do get interfaces and I normally do without topology. So I'm able to fix this myself. And here we see that we have all the IP addresses is already predefined. It gets fetched automatically. So we want to change Ethernet 1. So edit. And we want it to be a cluster. And this will be our external interface. I will put an IP. And a subnet mask. And I will put the and I will change the topology. And this topology is external for internet. I will also use zones. So this is the external zone and I will perform anti-spoofing. So this is my internet interface. You don't need to call it internet, internet one if you don't want to, you can put a different name. Um, so management. And this will also be a cluster interface, the 192.168.1.1 slash 24. And this will be uh, also topology override. And I will put network defined by the IP address and mask, meaning there is nothing behind this interface other than this specific network. So, okay. And I will do the same for this sync interface. And this will be a sync, meaning I don't put the virtual IP because it's not a cluster Excel. So this is a sync interface and we need to have the topology here as well. So override network defined by interface and IP mask. Okay. Okay. Uh, so yes, this is okay for management portal. For this um, this cluster and we see here that the new object is created and it will be changing to uh, cp cluster one with the members um, we will also add one rule so we can do something so i will just do uh, any any and accept and I will put ICMP, meaning ping. So we have this one. And I will do publish. So publish just um, make, the in, make the rule set active within the management station. It doesn't make it active within the gateways or the firewalls. So after we have published a change, we need to push the policy for it to be active. And the reason why I wanted to add it an ICMP, meaning allow ping, is so we can actually test to ping uh, the firewalls. So currently this will not respond. And this is the uh, default gateway for this box. And it's the virtual IP that we put in uh, within the cluster Excel. So we have put in that IP address here. So we want to be able to ping this and we are not. And then install policy. And we have not anything uh, changed. We, we haven't any, we don't have any configuration on these boxes. So that's why it's a problem. I start with the access control. And we will talk more about threat prevention later, but start with access control. So install policy. And hopefully this goes okay. And when it starts to go okay, we should be able to ping. So this is successful, meaning uh, the interfaces and so on should be done now. So let's so see if we start to ping. And yes, we are able to ping. 
So now the policy installation is done and we're still able to ping, so that's great. So that's how you connect your gateways to your management stations. So if we now go back to gateways and servers, we can see that this has now turned OK for green. This may take a few minutes, so just wait a few minutes before you start to troubleshoot anything. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.